guys, what's up? Cupcake and the Kumar Five Eight here, and welcome back to another video. So yeah, about that, I had to brush my teeth. Okay, well, anyways, like I was saying, so yeah, so I already kind of started. I did go into creative, but I only went into creative to get um golden apples. Well, golden. I'll show you. It's way easier to get. So I could enchant my stuff with books because. But I used my own levels. And where is it? So I only went into creative to get the Shoko boxes because I have no idea how you get them in survival. So I could get this and this. Well, the um, the mushroom stew I got myself, and you'll see how I got that in a second. But yeah, and I have a nether portal. I made the nether portal by myself. I didn't use creative to get that because I have a mine down there. I'll show you that. This is my little beach. Sometimes creepers spawn in it. Okay. And um, this is my farm. So the outside isn't really decorated yet. All I have is a hot window. And yes, I made the house in creative. But no more going in creative because I have all the stuff. So I'll give you a little tour. And I also decorated it in the survival. I didn't use creative to do that. So this is my anvil. This is my chest of random stuff because I'm too lazy to go in the chest room. This is my crafting table and a furnace. Okay. And then this is my little farm of animals. I should probably get that out of my hand. Okay. And then um oopsie. Um I think I have some stuff up here that I can fix it with. Okay, well, now it's a great time to give you a tour of the chest room. So, the chest room used to be a pink bedroom. That one's a blue bedroom. But, now it's a chest room because I don't know where to put all my chest. So, it's still a bedroom, but it just has a lot of chest in it. This is my wool. Um, food slash mob droppings. Spawn eggs. Yes, I got all of these in creative. Um, wood tools. I actually got all of the diamonds by myself. I did a lot of mining. I'll show you my mining shaft after. Um, mining. Nature. And nether. So I've already gone in the nether. But I thought that I might as well turn this into a series. Because why not? Wait, oh yeah, I need to fix that hole. Let's get this piece of wool. Close that. Oh wait, I need to turn my volume up so you can hear the noises. Okay, and then... Where was the hole? Here it is. It's the closest color to quartz that I have. Wait, actually I might have some quartz from the nether. Maybe I have enough to make a red block. Right. Um, let me see. I have ten quarts. Maybe it's enough. Um, let me see. How many quarts do you need? No idea. Oh, here it goes. So now let's put that in my inventory, let's put it in my chest of random stuff, because I'm too lazy to... Yeah. It's not going to be exactly the same, but... Actually, this is exactly the same. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so that's the goals slash chest room. 
I mean, this is my room. It's a blue room because my favorite color is blue. This used to be in the pink room, but it's not anymore because there's no room. As you see, so this is my bed. I'm going to sleep because it's nighttime. Great. Okay. Um, I have carpet and I have torches everywhere because I really don't want mobs to spawn. And then I'm gonna put this wall away. Okay, and then also gonna put this away. And then I'll give you a tour of my mining shaft. Might as well do some mining women out. Do I have my armor on? Ugh, I don't want to waste my armor. But all of it has some breaking anyway, so. Why are the llamas the invisible villager? Great. Let's see what you got. I hate all of these trades. Goodbye. So I have keep inventory on, so I can set my spawn point anywhere. And then just kind of like die and I'll spawn there with all my stuff. I don't know if that's cheating, but I really don't want to like I don't know. I kind of just want to see what the coordinates are just a sec. Oh we went back and writing down the coordinates for here. Okay I'm back now let's see if something in my chat that I've been wanting to test out for a while actually works. Um, let's go teleport, let's go where, um, let's put in the coordinates, which is 7, 9, 4, five, three. Seven, two. Come on. So that did not work, which is kind of sad. So now let's continue the tour with the thing. So this is my mine shaft. And I'll show you where I found my first diamond too. Um, I dug down a little here, but I blocked it off because I ran into something that I already dug. And then I was looking for a cave that I heard. And I found it, and when I was trying to follow the noise, I ran into this area, so I blocked it up. And then this is my cave. The other stairs down there just lead to a dead end. So how much more? I have no idea. Okay, and then this leads to nothing. That's a dead end. So actually, way down... Where is it? Why do I always get lost in these things? They all look the same. Um, I'll be back when I find it. Okay, I found it. It's just up here. And down here. So, ow. Down here is where I actually found my first diamond. So as you see, I have my stuff. I have some coal in there because I've used it a lot. That's why I smelted my gold and iron. And then, now where is it? There was a lava pit around here somewhere. I found my first diamond there. So I found, oh, I missed iron. I'm gonna mine this. And don't worry, I'm not gonna break my pickaxe. It has unbreaking, um, unbreaking three on it. So I'm not gonna break my pickaxe. I'll be back when I get to the spot. Okay, now just through here, down here. As you can see, I have another chest here. It's empty because 
I actually, I haven't explored this side of the cave yet. I'll do that with you guys. And then, down here, jump. There's still iron there that I haven't mined. So I found my first diamond. Oh, there's coal. Right around here, on this wall somewhere, I found it. But there was a lot of lava down here. I poured water all over it. And I really lit this place up because I don't want to, like, you know. So I think I should make a survival map that I start from the beginning so you guys. And you can actually watch me make my house because I make my houses in creative and then stall because yeah, I hate making houses in survival. So let's explore this side of the cave. On the torch. So let's get some of this. Usually I light up the whole place and then get that because I don't want to run in because I don't want like a zombie or spider or anything to. Oh. This was um a very empty cave. Looks like I'm gonna have to find a new cave tunnel thingy because I explored this one and the other one. So let's just kind of finish um, looting this place I guess and I finish um with some I'm pretty sure there's some iron over there but yeah. no. so I think I'm gonna go back to the nether again next episode of this because I'm gonna run out of space because it's on because it's already like so let's just get back to my house. Back. Ow. I need food. I don't have any food on me. I could eat my golden apple, but that's a waste of food. Just try and bring my iron back. Do I have anything here? Nope. So yeah, um, down here just leads to a dead end. I think I'm gonna start mining on that end again. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna set the time to break. So I really don't want it to be night when I get up. Oh, there's another chest. Oh, there's a lot of food in there. Should have brought that thing more. Even though that I have like a whole shuffle full of food, so let's go back up. And what do you guys think? I think I should um go explore the place, like go and find a different biome. So I'm gonna mark my coordinates for right here. So oh wait, I need to eat something. I can't even sprint anymore. Here, here. So let's take some of the dry kilt. It only gives me half of a food ball, but it's better than nothing. Get ready to explore. So I'm gonna go put most of my stuff away. So let's put my food back there. And guys, I am so sorry but my phone ran out of space so I can't record anymore. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe. My phone ran out of space, so yeah.
Peace out. Bye.